Well, Mr. Hands. Hands, need a favor. Straight to biz. I like it. Aiming to go to an upcoming shindig at the Black Sapphire. Lusting to dance with the devil. V, the place is inaccessible and treacherous in evil parts. You cannot simply walk in uninvited as opposed to, say, Compeggy Plaza. <laughs> Surely there's some way in. I'll need to twist. Got a delta. Later. Really? Now we can talk. Go ahead. I'll need to twist an arm or a leg. Thanks to you, I have a veritable buffet of limbs to choose from. So... Ruble, you think? You helped to solidify my position in Dogtown. I'm happy to return the favor. We'll conclude this in person. I'll need some hours. Meet me at the Heavy Hearts. Thanks, Hans. Still haven't unlocked. Okay. What the hell? Two, five, eight, nine. For fuck's sake, I need to sell all of this.
Yep. There we go. Hey, you there. This is a nice place. So play nice, hear me? Got our eyes everywhere. Check it out. Not jump here. Love to see what you got. All kinds of good stuff. Take a look. I could have guessed that. Hmm. Where does one get the key card? Hello, boys. There was a Crowley right from Supernatural. Hello, boys. get back to work now okay okay ah if it isn't V V my favorite Merc splendid what you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis-a-vis -vis Hanson excellent work precisely as requested maybe the one thing I didn't expect to see the man behind the hollow curtain the elusive Mr. Hands in the flesh. Not only did you rescue those clowns in blue, you also managed to eliminate Dodger. Calm, collected, and professional. Bravo. Bravo. He has a nice you voice. You have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Dogtown, Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'd be done. Working with bona fide professionals, positively a treat. Gigs you had me do. How will they solve your Hanson sitch? Take a boxer. He can't knock out his opponent. What then? He goes to work on the body. Once his adversary's stamina wanes, he looks for his opening, connects fists with jaw. I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but the 
gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Sounds like you're out to get your hands dirty in local politics. Pun intended. Yes, well, Dogtown is a political arena like any other. It has its relations, arrangements, power struggles. Fair a enough. careless businessman might easily drown in the mud. Me, I prefer to stay dry. And arrest you in some tea. It's my own blend. Sure, why not? So, how did this combat zone become Dogtown? Do you know? I heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069. Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective? to occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Marooned he was. Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact, and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. So well and good chit-chatting, but what about our deal? Did my part, time you did yours. Ah, indeed, yes. The Black Sapphire, Hanson stronghold guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. But, given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and Say, the late Mr. Deshawn. The Shard. Black Sapphire Info and Blueprints. All nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Thanks, Hans. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess. More local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, Someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Be looking forward to those new gigs, then. You will hear from me soon. This, I guarantee you. And V, whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive, hmm? <laughs> You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. I'll make sure to plant my feet firmly, then. 
Later, hands. Reed, got the data shard from hands. Our golden ticket into the Black Sapphire. Perfect. Send through. No worries. This connection is secure. Catch. It's on its way. And reception complete. I'll pass it on to Alex. And as soon as you're ready, join us at the moth. If I'm not there when you arrive, just wait. Until then. <laughs> 